Hello there, everybody, and welcome to Chapter 12 of... Twilight Phenomena, The Lodgers of House 13. This chapter is entitled, The Finale. So, presumably, this is the end of the game. We have made our way past the sleeping monkey. Yeah, he's just sleeping right now. Past him into this horrible, horrible lab where Dizzy is being held captive. Dizzy, wake up! Dizzy, wake up, wake up! Come on! Oh, she won't wake up. You think our hero would do something like slap her in the face until she wakes up, but our hero is a very polite fellow. So what can I do here? I have a ruler. I have some tape. And I have a number of puzzles that I can't solve yet. Oh, hey, a heart. Nice. So a microscope for a puzzle. An egg for a puzzle. And fish for a puzzle. Yeah. Puzzle-tastic. Okay, use the ruler here. Here's part of the apple and a key. So the key can be used over here. Oh, okay, get the rope ladder and then use the key. I have finished the preparations for the ritual of the ip transformation. All three idols have been carved from the correct materials and placed according to the schemes from ancient manuscripts discovered by my late father. Now I am ready. Soon the entire world will know my name, Daimon Fincher. Okay, so we have a letter from the crazy guy and a soldering iron. Yeah, the crazy guy who turned himself into that evil monkey. Not a good idea, guy. Not a good idea. So let me see. Um, that's clearly part of a puzzle. And this machine is the machine which releases Dizzy. It needs fingerprints. So let's get these fingerprints. Ink. Tape. Alrighty. Fingerprints here. Okay, Dizzy's awake! Dizzy, hooray! Oh, it's you. It must have been a dream. I thought that awful monkey had gotten inside my head somehow. I know it sounds crazy. Uh, it does sound kind of crazy, but you know, I'm gonna believe you. Thank you for coming to help me. Can you get me out of these chains? I'm sure we could get out of here if we work together. Alright, sounds like a plan. Yeah, let's team up and escape. Okay, we have the circuit board part. And it looks like we need a triangle or something to free Dizzy. All right, circuit board part, circuit board right over here. All right, oh, 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 not all right. It's broken, it's broken. Okay, let's go back over here. Microscope and soldering iron. Let's just fix this broken circuit board right now. Right, fantastic. Okay, so circuit board over here. And pull the lever. Okay, uh, that could have gone better. Um, hmm, the lever's broken now. Great. Well, at least we sort of broke a hole in the floor. And what's this? Ah, ah, ah I recognize this triangle. Dizzy. Dizzy, I'm going to free you, Dizzy! Can I talk to her? Dizzy, Dizzy, I guess I can't talk to her, huh? Okay, so this is a puzzle. You want to put all the snake things where they go. Just fill in the parts and the outlines. It's pretty simple. Uh, rotate them if necessary. You know, rotate these various pieces simply by holding them on top of this little rotate button. There we go. Dizzy, you're free! You're free! High five, Dizzy! Okay, okay, maybe not high five. How about down low? Down low, okay, Dizzy? All right. Okay, so Dizzy is free. Thank you again. It seems that if we want to get out of this place, we're going to have to deal with that monster. You mean the monkey, right? Thank you again. 
It seems that if we want to get out of this place, we're going to have to deal with that monster. Well, you know, um, are you going to do something, Dizzy? Thank you again. Okay, she's it not. You know, I thought we were going to work together as a team, not, uh, you know, force me to do everything. Flyers. And a sword. I know what to do. I can solve this puzzle. Use the sword on the monkey, and it brings an end to the game. What? The sword doesn't work? Oh, oh. I, I thought that would be the solution. Okay, pliers. Use the pliers so you can move the lever. And now we can go downstairs to the secret evil ritual room. Yeah, creepy. Okay, so this guy needs his sword. So now we have this. The mouth of the snake is open. Uh, this woman needs to be holding two things. Now we have a fish. And an apple slice. Very nice. And obviously we need to put something here. Let's do the fish puzzle because that's the one which actually makes sense. Okay, clownfish clearly needs to go in the, uh, you know, back corner. Let's get that clownfish over there. Let's get the yellow fish over here. Hmm, let me see. Let's get the green fish in his corner. And there we go. We get some perfume. Perfume, that's what I'm going to call it. Perfume, and the apple goes here. And here we have a puzzle. I don't really like this puzzle. Um, the solution to this puzzle is uh, almost impossible to figure out on your own, I would say. Because uh, this layout of the board is wrong. It's wrong. That's, that's not how the board is supposed to be laid out. So let's just get rid of everything here. Um, these things are correct. Uh, everything else... Wait, no, these things aren't correct. Only the top row is correct. You're supposed to figure out that, hey, the rest of the board is a complete lie. And after that, it's just your basic uh, Sudoku puzzle. You want to have uh, one of the things in each row and column with no repeats. As, as the hint says, as the help says. So really, I'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to be able to figure out this puzzle on your own, you know, legitimately, without cheating, because, uh, sort of difficult, huh? Let me see. This obviously goes here. That there. Um, hmm. Let me see, I'm still trying to figure this out. Uh, this here, obviously, in the middle. And let's just guess with these things, okay? Let's just guess that this one goes there, which means this is there. Which means, which means this is down here, this here, and this in the middle. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so that's your solution. There's the iron monkey. Dizzy, can you contribute? Thank you again. It seems that if we want to get out of this place, we're going to have to deal with that monster. Dizzy is not going to contribute. Okay. Oh well. Uh, use the uh, perfume here. Lights the torch. And we see this. The solution to the snake puzzle. Put the iron monkey here. We get a cobra. Oh, and we can melt this cobra. For another cobra. Alright, time for the final puzzle of the game. Uh, but before we solve this puzzle, I think we should read everything in our uh, notebook here. What has happened recently? Let's see, um... What is it? The villain? He transferred his mind into the body of an ape for some reason. And we had the magpie. Nice. Dizzy was asleep. But we managed to save her, and we found this page from the villain's diary. Damon, Dimon, Dimon, the DF, yeah, that's his name. Dizzy was having horrible dreams. Uh, the ape was dwelling in her mind. That's not good. Okay, we saved her. We have to defeat this monster. We have the Cobra Clue. Very nice. And if you press the red button, 
The person in the chair is going to die. Well, the evil monkey's in the chair, so hey, let's press the red button and kill the evil monkey, shall we? Final puzzle, final puzzle, final puzzle. Let me see. Um, hmm. Let's do this. Get this here, uh, so I can, uh, oh yeah, move this left, and then red down. There we go. Okay. That's a solution. That's a solution. Kind of a tricky puzzle if you, uh, can't figure out what you're doing, but, uh, you have the reset button, so you can do it over and over and over again. And press the button, and this should bring an end to the evil monkey. Finally, we can leave this horrible place. You're amazing. If you hadn't stopped Daimon, who knows what he would have done once the ritual was over. Ah, so that's how you pronounce his name. Daimon. Okay, so I finished the game. Hooray, hooray. And I can access bonus content, such as the bonus chapter, chapter number 13. But of course, I'll be doing that in the next video. For now, I hope you enjoyed chapter number 12 of Twilight Phenomena, The Lodgers of House 13.